A couple weeks ago, I replaced my iPhone 7 LCD with an aftermarket screen. Why would I do that if my original wasn't damaged? Two reasons. First, to give viewers an idea of what they get when purchasing an OEM screen versus an aftermarket brand. And secondly, so that anyone interested in wholesale purchases can see what this particular company has to offer. I'll put their contact information in the video description. My questions for you after viewing the video are, can you tell the difference? Which one looks better? And of course, most importantly, would you as a customer justify paying $70 more for the original LCD? As far as the internals, everything looked good, nothing out of place. The glass to frame bonding looks great, nothing's coming unclued. They do not include the small plastic covers that go over the front facing camera and proximity sensor, so you will have to transfer those over, but at least they're not glued into the wrong position. And as usual, this IC cover here was a little larger than normal, but that's not a big problem and it did not give me any issues when I installed it as far as putting pressure behind the LCD. So overall, everything looks good. Now, when we look at the side by side here, I'm gonna show you just in a second which one of these is which, you will see some differences in the color and to be fair, I had to shift the phones around because it also depends on how the light is hitting it, especially when you're recording something indoors. So as I pull these over to the left, you'll see that on the bottom, we've actually got our Tianma aftermarket LCD. And then on the top, we have the OEM from Apple. And once again, as I move them around here, it seems like the phone that's on the bottom has somewhat of an advantage as far as color goes. But overall, my question for everyone is really, whether or not it's worth approximately, at least as of today, a $70 difference to go from the Tianma aftermarket to the OEM from Apple. So I took a few still photos and ran some video here. And as you can see, the color variations are noticeable. I mean, there's no denying that you don't have the exact same image. Things look a little bit different. I will say that on the OEM, when it comes to contrast, especially with colors like red, there is definitely more of a pop to it. You can see that it just kind of looks more defined. And also with the aftermarket, there does seem to be a slightly greenish sort of tint. I do want to mention that this screen had a surprisingly impressive backlight. It seemed to be every bit as bright as the original, which is not always the case with aftermarket displays. So the interesting thing, of course, here is that you really only notice these differences when you set two phones side by side and you're looking for them. Outside of that, I have to say that for the last couple weeks using this phone, nothing really jumped out at me as, oh, this is unacceptable for any reason. Now, I, I will add to that, I don't generally watch movies on my phone. If I'm gonna watch some sort of video playing, I will do that on a larger screen. And, you know, barring anything that was just very low quality resolution, I would not have any problem living with this and can't really justify for myself paying the extra money if and when I do break my screen. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.